out there and we were burning the piano, there was a scene where we're taking a sledgehammer, we're just beating the hell out of it, and this guy goes to, and it, it hits back a little bit. And it's tuning in to Entertainment Buzz. I am Samantha McCormick. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, let's go ahead and do that. Um, make sure to like and share with your friends as well. Uh, I have the great pleasure of being here with the De Derek Randall Band. So, hi guys. Thank you for visiting us. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, let's go down and introduce everybody. We'll start right here in the corner. I'm Jesse, I play rhythm guitar. I'm Derek, I sing. I'm Nick, I play, I play bass. <laughs> I'm Dustin, I play drums. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> and I see that we are missing one band member. Let's go ahead and give him his proper shout out. Yeah, that's that's Jonesy. He's a uh, lead guitar. All right. Hi, Jonesy. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and jump into the interview. Um, everybody has been doing music for a while now, but we are just recently getting together and forming the band. So tell me how that came apart and, and the good and the bad and all the great stuff. So we started, uh, I started writing songs with Jonesy, the guy who's not here in Michigan, while these guys were still on tour before the pan pandemic went full effect uh, in 2020. And when we were down here uh, meeting the producer for the first time, Jesse was on tour in Nashville. So we got to hang out with him a little bit and, um, and he st then he knew that we were doing this. And then once pandemic went full swing and they were all out of work, I was like, hey, do you guys want to play some music with me? And they were like, yeah, let's, <laughs> we could maybe do that. And then we all started uh, coming down more often and putting all the songs together. And we started writing this country rock stuff that doesn't really have a home. Not really country, not really rock, kind of somewhere in between. All right. The rebels. The rebels yeah. of the group. I love it. I yeah, love it. Yeah, the Randall Rebels. <laughs> there we go. I just came up with something new. <laughs> with talking about Nashville, meeting Jesse in Nashville. How is the Nashville music scene? And talking about how you guys are these rebels of the music um, industry down there. I think uh, it, it's the down in Nashville, the country music scene is very individual. Uh, if you're an artist, you hire people individually. Even our producer that we used was like, ah, you probably shouldn't do a band. That's not really a thing down here. Um, but because we've all played in rock bands for, uh, before, the rock world is very family oriented and like the guys that you that you wrote we're all ride or die like that's what we're gonna do um and I, I and you know we, we sink or swim together if, we're, if we succeed it's together if, if we if we sink it's together and and that that just feels so much so much better more more organic when you're writing things when you can count on someone and um especially if i'm writing something or if jesse's writing something or if if, if dustin has an idea we can just swing it off each other and we have all the instrumentation we yeah. don't have to be like oh well i have this idea let me send it to this drummer or send it to this person no we can just send it to everybody and then come back with something that that we all like authentic and awesome mm -hmm. well talking about music um what is your creative writing process when you guys are in there and you finally all come together with all these great ideas tell me a little bit more about that i bet that's fun <laughs> i mean yeah. that, that's fun um, so Jonesy, the guy that's not here, we normally have to rein him way back because he just wants to like <laughs> <laughs> turkey it out all day. Um, same, same thing. It's just, uh, I think we want, we, I'll bring something, I'll cowboy chord something together, just something real basic. And then everybody puts their little flair on it. We have another, a new song that we're, we just got done in the studio with that we're really excited about, but it's. We even took, what is it? It's not a blast beat. What is the little thing that you do? Uh, What's that a, special thing It's like a do? triplet or something? Is that what <laughs> yeah, it's just a syncopated. Yeah, it's something that you do not hear in anything in country music on the radio. I love it. It'd be it. more of like the rock world, and we're bringing that into that. And um, we like to call that uh, farm core. Farm core. Yeah, it's not word. hardcore. It's farm core. Right? Okay. With, uh, we're kind of like... Noted right here yeah, when yeah, that takes off. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Like, so that's... When the writing happens, a lot of times it'll be one of us will come with an idea and then we all sprinkle stuff in. So Jesse, recently we just cut a song that uh, Jesse wrote um, about your father, about his father. And then we were able to take that and uh, kind of all put our own little, little spin on it. Yeah. All right, awesome. Well, we also have music that is already out. Like the 
Tonight Up mm -hmm. and Monster. And I hear that these two songs are completely different. Again, mm -hmm. going with how you guys are meshing and fusing all of these different types of music together. Yeah. Tell me more about this and the music video that I want to hear about as well. Okay, yeah. So, uh, Light Tonight Up is your standard party song. Just describes hanging out with your friends and about that group of friends that everybody has where when you start the night, it's like, yeah, we, we'll go get a beer, but you know, well, you're like, you're like, damn well, at the end of the night, it could be anything. Like, <laughs> anything you could be bailing goes. someone out of jail, it. it could just be partying. <laughs> be like, has anybody seen Dustin? I don't know. Hangover. Like, I'm like picturing those, hangover yeah. right now. Yeah, Good absolutely. Stuff. Exactly. It's, it's, called, it's just like tonight. We just turn it up and see what happens kind of thing. So that, I love it. Uh, and that's kind of, it's just fun and energetic. And then Monster is a little bit different. Um, it was, it's originally an acoustic song. We'll still... Uh, released that version, but then it, it morphed into we were going to do a short film, which we did, but then we were going to release the short film to festivals, so you couldn't release that footage, so then we ended up redoing a, a video in a day and trying to figure out what we were going to do. We decided to, so at like nine in the morning, we had six or seven hours to figure out what we want to do and film an entire music video because we couldn't use any of the other footage we just shot for three days out in Montana. Pressure. And we were like, well, let's burn a piano. And then these guys figured out where to get a piano. They went and got it. We brought it. We had to talk to the guy that owned the ranch. We're like, hey, can we burn a piano in your field? And he, <laughs> By the way. <laughs> no, he was really, really good. It was Bill and Diana Fieldstead that, that owned the ranch up in Montana. And they were so nice. He was just like, yeah, you can clean it up. Sure. Mm -hmm. So it was really, really cool. Everything came together. Um, but that song is, is more about, uh, it's very soft, but it's about, you know, love what you love, no matter if the world hates it or not, kind of thing. Just hold on to it. Um, but it's very metaphorical, too, so you can insert whatever, you know, other people might think um, it's about something else, and that's fine. And that's what music is about, mm -hmm. you know, is, is, you know, sending that message and, you know, touching people in different ways. That's going to hit everybody differently. Um, so with that being said, following, you know, chasing your dream, not letting go, um, this is not your first rodeo in the music industry and we have lots of newcomers that are getting ready to come into the scene and try to shake it up like you guys are doing. What is some raw advice that you could give those newcomers coming into maybe the Nashville music scene or just the music industry period? Mm, I would say um, that you don't really, you don't need a label to be successful. Uh, a lot of people just are like, I'm going to go and try to get signed, which yeah, that will really help. They do. It opens doors that only they can open. Um, but a lot of what we've been figuring out over the last year and a half or so is that a lot of labels are looking for people that are already polished. They want you to already be able to be marketable and making money on your own. Um, and it kind of takes a little of the, the process out of their hands so that they know if you can do it on your own, they put a little bunny behind you and then let you go. Yeah, exactly. And then also, if you're in a band, I would recommend knowing the words to the songs and how they go. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, we're not, you we know. We won't go there. We won't go we're there. not going to call anybody out right now. It's probably cheap. It's probably cheap. Yeah, that's right. mostly right. for Squeaks, our, our content guy. He makes up his own words to our songs all the time. <laughs> he's dedicated. Yeah. He's, de yeah. he's dedicated. He's oh. remixing. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be singing something. I was like, man, that's good. Is that... Oh shit, that's our song. Yeah. It's like completely different words. You're like, oh, all right. Let's go with that. Let's go yeah. with that. Well, you guys sound like a whole bunch of fun. So we have new music that's coming out. We have music that's already out. What is next? What is what next for you guys to con conquer? So everything like right now, like you, like we kind of touched on, it's the the pandemic. Everything is kind of opening up slowly. So for yeah. us, our plans are pretty fluid. Um, we want to release an EP here soon and get a lot more music out. Uh, and then we're also still continuously uh, trying to progress in our writing and, and going in and recording more. Um, I think uh, we want to show all sides. Not being on a label and being independent, one, one great thing is if we want to write a rock song, we can write a rock song. That's if we right. want to write something that's just way country, like old school 90s, we can do that. We can do whatever we want. Um, and then we can make, you know, just release it to the world. So who knows what's going to happen, but our main goal is to just keep pushing the music out to the fans and then getting out there in front of them and, and playing, playing live because that's, that's, that's going to be the big difference from us and any other country act that you might see. Oh, is the show. show. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? Well, tell me more yeah. about what someone can expect when they come to your show. I'm 
guaranteeing it's gonna talk say something about fun. Okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's probably that's in that's there that's somewhere. That's that's Mostly just I think there's an outtake somewhere of this guy trying to do a guitar flip with a bass. <laughs> just yeah. he's uh, working uh, on it. He'll uh, have it down by the time we get. He out had it. He, he can do it. it My awesome. strap on that bass is really bungee. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one believe me. No one believe me. Okay, so I can expect to see a video of you yeah. doing something amazing, yeah. huh? Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. talking about videos, if somebody wants to see this video of this great guitar <laughs> swing that we got oh, coming up, yeah. where well, can people that's reach that's you? There somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't where can they book. find it? Yeah, we put that on we first time too. Yeah, we're gonna, we'll throw that up on TikTok with some cool music. Okay, so we can find you on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I get knocked down. <laughs> <laughs> but I get up again. <laughs> yeah, that was yours. That I get yeah. knocked down. Yeah, so when we were out there and we were burning the piano, there was a scene where we're taking a sledgehammer, we're just beating the hell out of it, and this guy goes to it, and it, it hits back a little bit. And it's, it, check it out on TikTok. It's funny. Okay. I watched it like a hundred times, and I laugh every time. <laughs> there we go. It's got some chumba wamba behind it. It's pretty awesome. And you can't go wrong. You can't no, go wrong no, it's funny. with that and a burning piano you yeah. can't miss it you yeah. can't miss it well we can check you out on tiktok um what other social media platforms can we reach you on uh we're on facebook that's kind of what we use for our just general information instagram if you want to see more behind the scenes stuff but just kind of check us out where we're at uh, you know, I was just in Georgia and we were filming and they have a really cool beach down there on Jekyll Island. It's called Driftwood Beach. There's some cool pictures that we got. So if you just want to like keep up with what we're doing, um, the Instagram is kind of a, just a kind of easy way. And then um, YouTube, anytime we release any, any footage, uh, that's where it's going to be. And you know, all of the, uh, the music videos and behind the scenes and all the good stuff, stuff. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. All the bloopers. Cause this has yeah. been a great yeah. interview guys. <laughs> yeah, the bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you so much for coming down and talking with me, telling me about what you guys got going on, the yeah, music, everything. Um, come back and stop and talk to us again then. Absolutely. Um, we'll bring the whiskey next time. Oh, <laughs> see, the best interview yet. Let's get it, right? <laughs> Check yeah, them out yeah. on all their social media platforms. Thank you for tuning in to Entertainment Buzz. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and do that. Like, share, comment, and don't forget about the Derek Randall Band. Have a good day.